I'm Anil Kumar. Here is an example of finding probability using counting principles. Probability using permutation or combination. As you know, permutation will be applied when order is critical and combination will be applied when order is not important. The question here is, find the probability of a three-digit code combination lock to have all prime numbers in the code where the numbers cannot be repeated. In this case, we'll take uh, the sample numbers to be from 0 to 9, right? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So let's take these 10 numbers as our total possible outcomes, right? So, so what we have here is that the total numbers are 10 with us, okay? So we have to select one of these. Find the probability of three-digit code. That means we're trying to make a code of three digits, that is one, two, and three, of a combination log to have all prime numbers in the code. Now, so the event here is, event here is, all prime numbers, right? All prime numbers. Now, how many prime numbers do we have from numbers 0 to 9? Let's circle them. So 2 is a prime number, 3 is a prime number, 5 is a prime number, 7 is a prime number, right? So we have 1, 2, 3, 4 prime numbers. Now, Possible or favorable outcomes are if we have one, two, three, four, in the first position we can place any one of them. That means we have choice of four. Once we place one of them, we are left with three, and then we are left with two, right? And therefore, favorable outcomes are four times three times two. So these are the favorable outcomes, correct? Okay? Now, how many are total outcomes? All possible outcomes are, we have one, two, nine, that means 10 numbers. So in the first place, we could place any out of these. In a combination log, you can put zero also. So this will be 10 times, if you place one of them, since the numbers cannot be repeated, we are left with nine. And when the second number is consumed, we're left with eight. So these are the total possible outcomes. And therefore, we can find the probability for this event as the ratio of favorable outcomes to the total number of outcomes. So this ratio is four times three times two divided by 10 times nine times Eight, right? So you could simplify this. Four times two is eight. Three goes three times. Or you get your answer as one over 30, correct? So there are the probability of getting all prime numbers for a combination lock where the numbers are being selected from zero to nine is one over 30, right? I hope you understand and appreciate the method. Thank you. And all the best.